Hello, my name is Herman, uh, Chai Herman. I work for the Science Centre in Singapore. As all of us know, because hot air rises, uh, the uh, cold air has to come in from somewhere to fill in, fill in the gap. If you see a typical flame like this, cold air comes in from the side to feed the flame. Suppose you actually put on uh, a series of veins to direct the cold air coming in in a very clear way, in a very consistent way, introducing a component to the flow such that it's actually swirling. There are veins actually right behind the stainless steel uh, plating here. Suppose you actually put on a funnel, like what you see here, a glass tube, you see. You will see everything in the, uh, in the tube, you see, will rise to the top, you see, and cold air can come through, you see, from the bottom. And as a result, you see, you can see here that the flame is actually swirling. Now, for the YOG uh, cauldron, you see, it's actually slightly different. To keep it maintained straight and vertical, what we have to do is to shield the elements here, but somehow the cold air has to come in. One good way of doing it is actually to come in from the foot of the towel. The towel acts as a con converging duct to direct the air into the various veins. So it goes through to the veins and then go and then feeds in essentially almost the same as what you see in this plate, uh, this uh, model. Uh, and the flames actually goes up. The other thing is that special about this uh, cauldron is this. On top, there's a dome. The dome is actually to cater for the uh, tropical elements here. So the dome has certain channels that are direct the water towards the side and towards the wall. The temperature of the glass, we have measured it. It's around between 160 to 200 degrees. Ne never exceeds 200 degrees. To put it very clearly, you know, uh, anything that you burn, you see, actually introduces carbon dioxide. So we are not denying that it does introduce carbon dioxide into the environment. Uh, what we have to do is, is, is if, we, we, if we use LPG, it should actually produce very smoke-free uh, flames. So that's the fire tornado.